Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Welcome. So we are starting at three o'clock. But in the meantime, you can feel free to tell us where you are viewing us from. We have persons here with us in Zoom, as well as on Facebook Live. So welcome. And of course, make sure to tell all your friends to join us because we don't want to miss this wonderful session. So we will be going to start. We are starting promptly at three o'clock. It's now 2.58. So we start in two minutes. You can tell us where you are viewing us from. You can also tell us. So we have somebody from San Juan, Trinidad. And you can also tell us what level you teach as well. If it's primary or secondary, tertiary, you can let us know. We have somebody from Tunapuna, welcome. From San Fernando, welcome. And the, from secondary school, teachers, primary school, very good. We have someone from Jamaica, secondary teaching English and literature, welcome. From Barbados. Right, so we start officially in one minute. So in the meantime, while people are coming in, of course, we want you to please tell us where you're viewing us from. We have persons with us here in Zoom, as well as on Facebook Live. So if you are with us in Zoom or on Facebook Live, feel free to use the chat. Tell us where you're viewing us from. Tell us what level you teach and what subject you teach or any other information you'd like to share with us. And thank you very much for joining us. All right. So it is officially three o'clock. So welcome everybody to another session hosted by 21st Century Educators. And we would really like to thank all of you for taking this time out to spend with us. We do think this topic this afternoon is really relevant and important. And I would really like to thank Kunchi from Genia Genially for spending this time with us, for agreeing to come and share on this wonderful tool. It's a tool that I discovered during our remote learning period last term that really helped to make online learning exciting for our students. So before we start, we have a couple of exciting announcements to make and we will remind you during the session, but we do have two giveaways today to get two free EduPro accounts. And all you need to tell us in order to be able to participate is share with us where you're viewing us from. And we will enter your name into a uh, raffle and uh, winner will be announced at the end of the session. All right, but I'm going to hand you over to our expert. I'll be here in the background and I will see you at the end of the session. So you can take over now. Thank you so much, Liang. It's very excited to be here. We're honored to be part of this session with 21st Century Educators. And it's exciting to see people from all around joining the session. So thank you so much, everybody, for making the time. As Lian said, my name is Conchi, and I am here from Genially. And hopefully, you're going to find this session very helpful for uh, the upcoming uh, course. You know, where I'm going to show you how to create interactive learning materials using the tool. And you know, I'm hoping it would be worthwhile uh, for everybody. So. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you the presentation, okay, that I'm going to, uh, that we're going to see today. Uh, everything that you're going to see today has been created with Genially. So it's a presentation about the tool and it's a, it's a demo at the same time, okay. So here we go, let me put this away. So here we go, what is Genially? Genially is a content creation tool uh, that is going to help you bring your, um, your content to life, your materials to life. 
So we say we create uh, communication experiences, in this case, for your students. Okay. Kind of the philosophy behind Genially is like if, if education is changing so much, especially now with all the distance, with everybody going remote, if education is changing so much, why are we still doing things the same way? Why are we still um, using the tools we used 20 years ago uh, where we can do much more to communicate and uh, engage our students? So that was the idea that got Genially started. And to illustrate this, I like showing this example, this slide. So to compare like the different ways we have to communicate. So on the left side of the screen, you have a classic presentation slide uh, with a static content. So this could be like a classic presentation slide with a chunk of text that is really you know, hard to read. Uh, there's an image and there's also a link that if I click this link will take me outside of the presentation to a, a YouTube uh, a video. And on the right side of the screen, you have the same, exactly the same information that you have in here, but created with Genially, made interactive. And first of all, it's more beautiful, it's visually appealing, uh, but most importantly, it's gonna make the information, information much easier to digest for your students. So the students, instead of having a passive role, that, that's what they have in here, they take an active role and they're able to explore and click around the materials and discover the information by themselves. The YouTube video that you had in here that would take you outside the presentation or the slide, you have in here. So you can embed different content within Genially and you always keep your students in the same place within uh, the materials, the teaching materials that you're going through. So we can say that like, with the static content, you could be boring your students or, you know, the, there's a potential they'll get bored or with the interactive content, you'll be engaging, engaging, and they're going to be really um, participating in that learning experience. Until now, what happened? The problem until now was that creating this type of content that you see that is interactive, that is animated, uh, was very expensive or was very difficult to develop. So you either had to be a programmer, you had to be a designer, or you have to hire somebody to do it, or you had to learn how to use a very complicated tool. But what we've done with Genially is to create a tool that is very easy to use for everybody and that is going to allow you to take your classroom materials to the next level. Um, and it's, it's easy, it's very affordable. Uh, we'll go into pricing and plans later, but Genial is free to use. There's a lot you can do for free. Um, and then we'll see other options as well, but it's, you're gonna be able to create this memorable learning experience for your for your students and create this content that we need so much, especially now with all the distance learning uh, with, that we have with us. Until now, I've been talking a lot about presentations, but really presentation is just one of the things you can create with Genially. With Genially, you can create 12, we have 12 different categories. Um, within each category, there's hundreds of templates available. So normally what you can create with Genially, you will need five or six different tools that you will need to learn and to pay for. But with Genially, you, you, kind, of you kind of have like an all-in-one tool, okay? So I'm gonna show you examples of each creation just to get your, you know, your imagination started for things you can create for, for your students. So presentations, as I said, hundreds of templates available. Um, so you can create interactive lessons. So once you access the templates, you have you know, lessons that are ready-made, just ready for you to enter the information. So these are the type of designs and layouts that you get. With Genially, you get the whole, it's not just a few slides. So this presentation, for example, has 47 slides. So there's a lot, you can select them all and then delete or you know, transform the ones that you want. So there's a lot to pick from, a lot of designs, a lot of layouts. So it's very exciting and very easy to start creating with, 
with Genially. Um, you can also create dossiers or catalogs. This, is, this type of creation is schools and universities used to create materials for the for enrollment, for the parents, for you know to share with the, on the website. So this, this, this is an example of a template used for to present the school. Okay. So letter from the principal, um, a tour around the school, you know, this type of things. Uh, for example, we work with Oxford University and Cambridge University in the UK. They both use Genially to create this type of materials. So it's to create materials for the students, but also for the schools. The possibility is are endless with Genially. Learning experience could be the third category that we have. In learning experiences, again, a lot of templates. And I'm going to show you one for a quiz. So you can create really fun quizzes with, like this that the students really enjoy. Uh, this is about movies from the 80s, but obviously you just, you can do it about whatever you like. So, you know, you can play the game uh, and try to guess the right answer. So if you get it right, you get that. If you get it wrong, you have that and you can add as many questions as you like as i said this is a template as well uh, gamification would be the next one i don't know um, in trinidad uh, here in the us digital breakouts and games are growing really popular in the classroom so teachers and educators are creating a lot of interactive escape rooms and digital breakouts so these are increasingly popular. I really encourage you to take a look at the templates because they're very fun. So you have characters and you can, you know, have different names. You can designate the missions. I've seen games done about math, about uh, language like context, clues. I've seen games pretty much about anything using this type of templates. So it's very fun for the students because they, they're playing, so they, they're more likely to, you know, they don't care so much about making mistakes. They're just playing and they, you know, they learn, they, they really learn and are engaged. Interactive image. This is, uh, this is the easiest type of creation you can do with Genially. It's an image that you add buttons to it and you add the information that you like. So this is a cell and that's kind of, you have all the information in there. Like you can click around and see this takes, I, I, and I'll show you later when I do the hands-on demonstration, this takes about five minutes to make. It's, it's easy. Infographics. Infographics are great for data visualization. So it's a fun way to present numbers and a lot of information in, a, in one place. And then you can add layers, as you're seeing with Genially, you can add interactivities and layers. So if the students want to find out more, inf more information, they can click around and discover. Okay, this is a template as well. Everything that you're seeing is a template. Horizontal infographics. This is very interesting for teachers as well. Um, this is a choice board. So these are growing really popular as well. Um, so essentially uh, you pick a topic, in this case it's a book, and you give the students different type of activities to pick from, you know? So in each tile, there's a different activity that, that they have to do around the book. So it's great for that personalized learning. Each student is able to pick the activity that is more suitable to their skills. You know? So you're giving them that choice, that choice component. They're, you know, they're choosing what, what they like. And uh, you can apply points to each activity. There's a lot, of thing, a lot of things you can do with this. And this is a template as well that you can reuse. So again, very nice. Guides. Is are this type of creation, like the 10 most influential 
people of 2015 or you can make you can make it i've seen it made like uh, my favorite women in history or any type of uh, arrangement of characters you can you know you could use this type of template as well and this is very helpful we see it a lot on websites and newspapers uh, that use genially so they use genially to create these type of resources for the paper uh, or the magazine video presentations it's uh, it's a presentation but it has the format of a video so oop, it's a bit loud maybe so this presentation plays by itself so we've seen this in libraries, for example, if they have a screens, they have like the books of the moms or, you know, they have this presentation rolling uh, constantly. Okay. Personal branding. This is about making a resume, but not just a resume. There's a lot you can do with this. You can do a biography of a character. You can use it to introduce yourself to your classroom at the beginning of the course or the first week of school. Uh, so there's a lot you can do with the, we call them personal branding on the tool on Genially, but just your, your imagination is, is the limit, you know, the sky's the limit, you, you can do whatever you like. And social media, these are popular as well, this type of Instagram, we have a square and we have all social media formats, okay. So these are very easy click to action templates, so you kind of just click and there's a fun image coming up. This is, as I said, it's great for Twitter and Twitter especially, you know, so. So that's it. And you can also create a start from the scratch. So if you're very creative and you feel ready to do your own thing, uh, you can also do from scratch. Okay. So what is the recipe after seeing all the examples? I hope I didn't overwhelm you a lot, but after seeing all the examples, I wanna go into the secret, uh, the secret sauce, generally secret sauce for that success. The first one is the interactivity. You've seen, you're able to click around, the, you're able to, you know, to make your students the participant, the protagonist, to have an active role. So they can, again, they can click around and, you're making them much more uh, participate. It's much more participation than just a, a plain creation. There's animations as well. So animations are great to put your ideas in order. So you can kind of have different elements moving at different times so that the eyes of your students go wherever you like. So uh, there's a lot of type of animations you can do. These are just some examples. Just my advice could be don't have everything animated at the same time because you can make your audience crazy as well. So just uh, a little bit of animation is nice. Monitoring, if you're on a premium plan, you're able to see the performance of the materials of the presentation. So you can see how, uh, where your students stop, where they click, you're able to see a number of metrics uh, that will help you improve your materials for next time. Integration, you've seen how we integrated YouTube on the, um, on the slide. We, you can also integrate Google Maps, Typeform, Flipgrid videos, Wakelet collections, any sort of applications you can embed on, on, on the presentation on Genially. So this is a Twitter feed that I picked and you can have it live. This is live, okay, kind of thing. So um, it's, it, it's nice, you know, there's a, a lot of possibilities. And I would also like to mention here, even though it's not on the, uh, on the drawings, uh, collaboration. You can work on a collaboration mode with with genially with other teacher or students, you can work on the same document, okay? And that, um, you know, it, it saves automatically, just like Google Docs, you know, it saves automatically and you're able to create with other, as a team, you know, with more people. So that's a nice option as well. And again, we brought together like the best of design and web design tools with office tools and then the templates which people love the templates. We have a big creative team and they add new templates every week. So you're not running out of templates. 
we also we also do seasonal templates for back to school or for Halloween or for so there's there's, there's always something fun and new coming out on Genially. And this is how we're everywhere in the world. It's a global company. We're based out in Spain. So we're in Cordoba in the south of Spain. I'm based in the US uh, because I take care of the US market primarily. But um, we're everywhere. Uh, Genially is available in Spanish, in English, and French. We have 5 million users worldwide. Um, people seem to like Genially a lot. And that's very heartwarming to see to hear from teachers saying how it, it's helping them in their classes about all sort of people use Genially, but is teachers make about 80% of our users. So it's primarily educators. K-12 and higher education is mainly our users. Then we also have media companies like newspapers. And we also have um, corporate uh, companies, you know, that use it for presentations, like as, as you would use PowerPoint or other tools. And these are some of the premium features. As I said, there's a lot you can do for free on Genially, but uh, if you want to go for a premium feature, uh, you can, you know, you get uh, a few more things, okay? So you get more templates with the premium you can download the creation and use it without internet. You can personalize it to your brand. You can bring your PowerPoints. If you have a lot of PowerPoints, let's say you can bring them and make them interactive. Uh, you can monitor the performance. You can work in collaboration. You can add audio. And this is a new feature we had to add during the COVID uh, teachers starting requesting that they wanted to be able to add their voice, not just like background music, but their voice to the presentation. So we did that. Um, folders is just a number of um, of uh, features that you get with the with the premium. And I can show you the pricing, even though, as I said, I'll show you quickly. Okay, but you, you educator. So this is about what genially costs. Um, and we're going to raffle two plans at the end of the session. So I encourage you to stay so you can win a, a premium plan. And, and I'll, I'll, give, I'll, I'll also have a promo code for those who don't win and still wanna, would like to buy the premium. I'll, I'll have that as well. Okay, so there's different options, as you can see. And... What I would like to do now is to show you, and I guess you're gonna love this part, is the hands-on demonstration. Before I head to the demonstration, I wanna make sure everything is okay, Leanne. Uh, I wanna... Yes. <laughs> everything is okay, just looking for the chat. Is there any questions that you can, that you want me to answer? No, not at this point. Um, okay. We just have lots of viewers from all around the world, so. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Okay, so <laughs> fantastic. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you genially in action. So this is what you would normally see when you sign up for genially for your free account on genially. This is what you will see. Okay, these are the categories that I show you examples about just a few minutes ago. And just to show you the, the sheer amounts of templates that they're available with Genially, if you click on presentation, just one of the categories, you can see all the presentation, all the templates that are available for you to pick from, uh, from all subjects, like there's you know, things from science, for stories, for language, uh, for English, there, there's a lot there's a lot to pick from, a lot of fun ones. If you wanna do a scrapbook with your students, there's, there's templates for, for everything, pretty much everything, okay? And for the demonstration today, what I'm going to do is a biography. And I wanted to do this example because just to show you how versatile Genially is and what you can do. So I'm gonna head over to personal branding 
And this template could be used to do a resume, a CV, if you're applying for a job, but it can also be used to create a biography for a popular character you wanna teach about in your class. Or you could make it about yourself or have your students use it to introduce themselves. Like the first week of a school, for example, you could have your students create an about me genially, or you can create one too introduce yourself to the classroom. So even though it says corporate CV, there's much more you can do. So I'm going to click use this template. And now it's loading. Okay, so we're going to work on this template. And as you can see, it, it comes with several slides. And I'm just going to use the front one. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. You can delete by clicking on the little trash can or recycling bin. Okay. Okay. Okay, so here we are. And the character I'm going to pick today is going to be Frida Kahlo. But as I said, you can make this about yourselves or about anything you would like. So I'm going to work on my section. So I don't need this. So you can click on select and delete. And then this I'm going to bring closer together. So, and I'm going to change this to this thing. And you're gonna see why in a minute. Then I'm gonna do works. And then about me, I'm gonna leave it like that. I wanna move both elements. You see there's about me and there's a line. So those are two different elements, but you can kind of make a group. Group, you see? So I've grouped them together before I move them, okay? Okay. In about me, I'm gonna, you see this where your options come from. Okay, so I'm gonna apply interactivity using this. So what I'm going to do here is to add, and I've been doing my research about Frida, okay? So I have a little about me text that I found online, okay? So I'm gonna copy and I'm going to, oops, I'm gonna have to move this somewhere else. Mm, oh, okay, so I'm going to copy, um, paste in here. So that's the about me section. Save works. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a photo, okay, of free that works. And you have to click on the image icon and then I have it here ready, okay. Here we go, and you can, you know, select any size. And what I'm going to do as well is to, is to put a website as well where you can see, um, whoop, her whole collection of works. Okay, so as you can see, that renders like you put the link, and it you have a preview of the website. Okay, so I'm gonna click, and you can. Actually, we can delete this now that is. I'm going to click save. And listen, I found a really nice video about Frida, where you can hear her voice. And I thought it was pretty cool to hear her voice. So we're going to do that. So you click on the insert video. And there are several options. You can use YouTube, you can use Vimeo, and there are several ways you can enter it with the link, with the iframe code. There's different options, but really just with the link, there you go. You have the video. It renders automatically. Okay. So there we go. Here, what I'm going to do is to pick a quote about Frida. So I thought this one is cool. So 
and you have a lot of editing options here like just like in any editor you can change color you can change the font type the sizing so i'm gonna do it a bit bigger here we go fantastic uh i don't need this i think okay and this i'm going to replace and you're gonna see when i click replace you have you can use an image from Pixabay, you can upload from your computer, you can use a URL, you can use illustrations from our library. We have a big library of illustrations, a big library of scenes, but I'm gonna use a GIF, okay? So you can pull a GIF right out from Genially. You don't need to go, to go anywhere. So let me see. I think I'm gonna do this one. And you just click replace. And there you go, that's Frida. And now these are the graphs. This is a new feature as well. You can now include graphs on your Genialis for data visualization. Uh, so you can change any color you want in here and then you include your data here. So talking about Frida, Instead of teamwork, I can do creativity, for example. Creativity organization. Uh, uh, arts, anything you want, you can write and then you can change the percentages and you're going to see how they change on the graph. OK, so you have 100 there, you have. Uh, so you're going to see it kind of changes with what you do. Okay. And the same with the skills. So the skills, it will be the same. You click on here. I'm going to use the same color palette and then your data again, skill one, painting. writing this is really handy this was a, a feature that was people was waiting for for a long time okay so singing all right so there you go so you see how how that works and the only thing that i have left you see this background is not very frida we can say so you can go to background um you can change color and you can head to the library and just so that you can see the library of the big libraries of resources on each of these sections you have resources you can add before i use the gif of the gif option just from from the template but as you can see there's a lot of resources buttons graphs scenes there's a lot okay interactive elements a lot so i'm gonna uh, look for my background and i'm gonna click show more and i have one in mind already so i have to say that because i'm kind of familiar with genially so i'm gonna use one that is like a watercolor if i can find it which i think is nice for frida here we go so that's the that's it okay so that could be that could be our about me or about biography our presentation you can preview your creation anytime clicking on this little eye and i'm gonna call it frida for 21st century educators okay so you can preview your creation here. So you see everything that we added is now showing on the presentation, but this is just a preview. I'm gonna click all set. That's the way to do it. You can click your Genially to, to be reusable. So say you create this Genially and you want your students to keep the same format template, you can click it's reusable and they will be able to reuse it or your coworkers. Okay, we already did the title. So I'm gonna click on oops, reusable, all set. And now you have different options to see, you can view. 
and that will show you like full screen and I'll do that later. You can download on PDF or different options, but I'm gonna show you the share option. I think it's the most interesting. Uh, you can share with a link. So you can copy this link and send via email or share on the chat. I can sh share the presentation on the chat later and it will be all interactive. You can use the iframe um, for websites, for your LMS system. If you use an LMS system in your school, you can just copy and paste the iframe code and it will render automatically. You can send via email, so I can enter Liang's email here and I would send this directly to her. You can share on the different social networks. And very interesting, this one, you can share directly to Google Classroom or to Microsoft Teams. So this is very interesting for schools using these platforms. We're working on integrations with them both. They're really good partners of us. So right now you're able to share directly to, to those. Okay, and just to show you how, oh, that's what I just did. Okay, so I'm gonna click view so that you can see it full screen. Okay, oh, I, have, I should have changed uh, the canvas as well. So we can do that, base. So I should have to change base. But you would learn as you explore genially, you're gonna learn all these things. There you go. So now you really have the whole watercolor effect in the whole thing, okay? So I hope you enjoy that. It's time for questions and I can show you the tool itself, how it looks. Um, so this is the editor, as I said. Liang, is there any questions at this point? Uh, not at this point, but we have a lot of people telling us that they love <laughs> <laughs> genially. So, that's, that's so but good. if you have any questions on Facebook or um, yes, we actually have two questions in Zoom. So okay, so, um, they asking, do you have rights to what you have created? Yes, what you create is yours. Yes. You do, we have people even that um, they create, I don't know if you're familiar with Teachers Pay Teachers, it's a platform popular in here in the US. The people create their materials and they sell them. So I've seen people selling their games, the games they create with Genially, uh, they sell them as resources for other teachers. So you could, you know, they're yours, you know. I'm seeing another question. Um, can students gain access freely? Uh, can you say that again, Liam? Nicole would like to know if students access the presentations for free. Yes, yes. And you don't need to be registered on Genially to see a presentation. So I could send all of you the presentation we just looked at. And uh, you'll be able to see it without being registered on Genially. So that's never a stopper, okay? And um, students can sign up for the free version. Um, you know, they'll, they'll have access to, to the tool as well. So that's what we normally see in, in schools. You know, they normally sign up with the email for, from the school if they're under 13. So kind of the school set up the accounts for them or the teacher set up the accounts for them. And, and yeah, they can use it. And these are the folders. You can organize your content in folders. This is my account. So you see all my presentations that I've been working on. So, and then I have folders for different. Uh, so this is a premium feature as well. You can organize the content by folders. And there's an inspiration section that I'd love to show you because you have the option as a teacher, if you create something and you wanna share with the community, you can do that, you know, so we have, um, you know, this is a librarian created this. Uh, it's like a reading list for the summer, you know, so you, they, they share in here and many of them, many of these are reusable. Okay. This is the choice board that I show you. Yeah. We have a couple more questions. Okay. Coming in. Fantastic. One, can the presentations be shared via WhatsApp? You could share, you could share the link. Yes, you could share the link via WhatsApp. So people would click on the link and 
it would open up on their on their on their phone. Yeah. Another question: Can it be integrated with Google Suite? With the Google Suite, uh, it is integrated in in terms of of what? If you give me an example, like you can. If you can explain a little more. And in the meantime, there's another question. Yes. Um, someone would like to ask about the free version. What can be done on the free version? And is there a time limit for the free version? There's not, that's the best thing about the free version. There's not a creation limit. Like we see other tools, other companies that they have a limit on the number of creations you can do with the free one. There's no limit on Genially. You can create as many creations as you would like. The only limitation is the templates. You won't have access to all of them. You would have access to I know, 50, 60 templates, but you won't have access to the thousand templates, okay? Uh, but there's the still, if you, you can create from scratch. So with the free version, you can create from scratch and do your own creations as well. So I always encourage people to, to try that free version first and play around. And when they feel ready, they can, you know, go ahead for the premium plan, you know, if they would like. So just getting back to Trisha's question, she wants to know if you can insert a link um, via Google Suite. Okay, so it doesn't, you can include the link, but it doesn't render yet. So we're working on that, like if you, if you paste a link on Google Docs, for example, to show it to be interactive, it doesn't happen yet on Google. It happens on Microsoft. So if you have a link and you paste it on OneNote, for example, I don't know if you, you if any of you use uh, Microsoft Suite, but uh, on OneNote, it will render automatically. You paste the links and it displays beautifully. Uh, same with Teams, with Microsoft Teams. So with we have a better integration, I would say, right now with Microsoft, but we're working on both of them. We, our team is constantly working on integrations, you know, with different partners. So I'm not sure if there are any more questions, but... Yeah, what I would love to show you, if there's no more questions, I will show you the inspiration section where there's, there's creations by teachers already. And um, what I would also love to show you is the Genially Academy. This is a project we just launched. Okay, so if you go to Genially Academy, you just write Genially Academy on Google, it should come up. You, you're gonna have access to courses free. This is 100% free. So you're gonna see different courses to learn how to use Genially, but also about design, also about training. So it's not just about genially, genially, genially. It's also about how to improve your skills with design and other skills, you know, that are necessary. So this is how the academy looks like. And uh, you have a catalog of courses that you can take. So as I said, you have different categories. So you can design, communicate, train, and you can, you can see some of them here. So you can enter your values, but you know, learning landscapes. So if you're ready to learn about learning landscapes, you can do that with this course or integrating audio. So you can take this course, it's about 30 minutes long. Uh, board games, you can create a board game. This is a bit longer. Gamification always takes a, a few more practice. So I would suggest you start creating like an interactive image or like a, a presentation before you move into games because games require uh, just a little bit of practice, okay? And there's also learning pills. Big lessons in a small doses. So these are little videos, um, resources. So basically, it's a, it's a genially, right? That you that you take the course on this, and teach you how to, you know, create your portfolio, create your personal brand. You know, for educators, 
maybe non-related, but for educators, it's so important these days to create their personal brand. You know, so many educators have a blog or have a website where they share their knowledge with others. So personal branding is important for teachers these days too, for everybody, right? So this is just one of the example of the courses you can, of the learning fields, sorry. If you wanna get started, I would suggest, you know, how to choose a template there's there's courses for all levels so you can how to choose a template my first genially organize pages and these are my courses these are courses that i've taken you know just to test the platform kind of thing so my first genially so you can select this course for free you're gonna have to create an account okay but you can select this course and you can create your first genially and I'm sure you're going to be able to create by yourself because you're all, I'm sure you're all uh, familiar with other programs and technology, but um, if you need an extra little help, there's, there's this Genially Academy where you can take these courses. And we also do webinars every month on different topics. Uh, and we, there, there's a lot we do for the, for, the, for the community. We try to do as much as we, as we can. Um, two more questions. Yeah. Someone would like to know the price of the premium account. And also someone would like to know how you can use this to monitor your students' um, interaction with the presentations. Okay. So in terms of the pricing, uh, this is the educator's pricing page. And you can see the different features. Okay. So with the free version, you get unlimited creations, as I said. You get unlimited views. And you can you have a social link, so you can share with the link, okay? And your creations will be public. You can download, uh, no, you cannot download. That, that would be with the student account, okay? So with the free version, you cannot monitor, okay? But you can, you have access to free template, to the resource library, to graphs and charts features, like what you saw with the Frida Kahlo, the charts moving, you would have access to that with the free version. You have a collaboration mode as well with the free version. You have recycling bin. This seems silly, but we didn't have a recycling bin. So if you deleted a creation, it would disappear forever. So also recently we added a recycling bin. So if you trash, a presentation by mistake is on the it's on your recycling bin for 30 days okay so it's not it's not lost forever <laughs> okay so you know if you click on the pricing section you can see you can compare the plans okay the most popular with educators is the edu pro edu pro sorry i'm my spanish sometimes get the edu pro so that's the most popular with educators and that gives you a lot okay People get the master license and the master is, the, the EDU Pro is $5 a month. And I'm gonna give you a discount code uh, now, uh, but you have the $5 a month, which comes about you know, $50 a year. And the master is normally for companies because you, they want to put their, put their brand. So they wanna have their logo on their presentation. So that's a premium branding feature that comes only with the master plan. So, I mean, some educators have the master too, but uh, it's more like companies and newspapers that use the master. And educators normally have enough with the uh, EduPro plan, okay? Someone is asking if there is a school paid account, if, if a school can get an account, and if yes. how many students could be on that account? So we can make it as big or as little as you want for it. We have a program that is Genially Schools. So if you're interested in having your school join Genially, I'll, I'll get you in touch with the Genially Schools team. And we're gonna get you a special pricing depending on how many teachers and students. And it's not just about the pricing. We're gonna have a person that is dedicated to your, to your schools. Like, and we're gonna help you build materials for your school. Uh, we, we support a lot the schools that come as a whole or even just a department. Like we have a schools that come just, uh, or universities that just come as a department. Uh, so we have a special plan, let's say, and we'll, 
will be taking care of you <laughs> for sure. If you're interested, I'll leave you my email at the end and yes, or you can ask Liang and she'll, she'll get your questions to me. Another question, can assessments be included in Genially? So right now, no, right now you will need to use your LMS system. So if you use Blackboard or Canva or Canvas, one of those, that's what you would need to use right now for assessment. Uh, but we are cons we are working on it as well as many things, you know. But yes, it's on the roadmap, for, but not available yet. So I don't know if anybody else has any more questions. I'm not seeing any more questions, but I'm seeing lots of interest. <laughs> so I guess we should be telling them. I guess they're kind of excited to find out who won the prize. Oh, yes, please. Well... So let me see if I can do that now. <laughs> so I'm have a, I have a random wheel here and I'm just going to spin it. I'm going to call your name. I hope I got everybody's name in the wheel. And the first <laughs> we have is... Eva. So Eva Coleman. That's one. So Eva... If you are with us, please send a direct message to 21st Century Educators and we'll tell you how to collect your prize. And our second winner is... I'm not sure of the pronunciation, but it is Ionella Loredana from Romania. So, mm -hmm. so if you uh, please send us a message on 21st Century Educators and we will let you know how to collect your prize. So fantastic. If you can register like the two winners, if you can register on the free version and send your that the email that you use to Liang for registration, we I will look you up and you know activate a, a, a premium plan for you. Okay. Thank so you so much for participating. <laughs> and we also have a promo code so you get 25% off of that EduPro. So please exactly. take full advantage. And should we tell them now about our the ambassador program? Yes, of course. Tell them about the ambassador program. Of course, let me, I'm going to stop sharing my, this yes. is my email. If anybody, if anybody has a, a question and they want to reach out to me, please feel free to do so. And I'm going to stop sharing my screen so that they can see Liang. <laughs> <laughs> so we would like to thank you all very much for joining us. But before we go, I just announced that 21st Century Educators, we are now the official ambassadors for, well, I guess for Nala and Tobago and the region, the Caribbean region for yeah. Genially. Mm -hmm. So we will have some exciting news to share with you in the very near future. Future. Exactly. We're <laughs> so really, really excited, excited to, yes. thank you, Liam. We're really excited to, you know, to have a partner like 21st Century and bringing Genially to as many educators as possible, you know, because there's really, there's really a value on the tool. Like, and you're going to see when you start using it. I, I hope you're going to get started to get excited, you know, about it. So. And we certainly will be featuring a lot of it because, as I said, I've used it personally and my students loved it. We had quite a number of escape rooms during this period where we had to do remote learning. And the students were just like, Miss, can you send more? So I, <laughs> it was fantastic. So mm -hmm. I would really like to thank you. And, you know, in the near future, we'd probably be doing some more sessions. So... Mm -hmm. I think um, someone is asking to see your email address again. Oh, yeah. Um, Maybe you could type on, it in the chat and I will. I that's will what I was going to say. It's on the, I, I'll type it on my, on the Zoom. Okay. Yes. Uh, but basically it's conchi at genially. Okay. And of course, they could also go to the website yes. as well. And please register, send me feedback, anything. Um, please contact me anytime. <laughs> so 
that's it. And thank you again, everyone, for joining us. Of course, if you have questions afterwards, feel free to message me. The things that I can't answer, I will pass on um, to Conchi as well. And you can also send feedback to her as well. And it really is something that you should, I mean, like I would suggest go today and go and check out the templates. I mean, they are fantastic. And I like that they're already set up. So, and then you can integrate it with so many different tools that you're using as well. So it's really, really excellent. So thank you very, very much. And I look forward to future thank sessions. You. So that's it. Thank you. So. Thank you, everybody. It's been an honor to share this time with you. Thank you, everybody. And Leanne. Yes. So bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>